if you're going on a cruise this year, these are the things that you need to know about what items you cannot bring on a cruise, and many of them are going to surprise you. In fact, cruise lines have been cracking down on a couple of these. They are completely new for this year, and other things are just things that you cannot bring or use in certain areas of the ship. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, we all know that going on a cruise is different than going on an airplane or a road trip or a land resort. And there are some things that we're just not able to bring on a cruise. And some of the things are actually new. They've changed from even a couple of years ago. And I admit there has been some confusion. Now, while I have done a video about the extensive list of things that you cannot bring on a cruise in the past, this list of 10 items is really going to focus on the 10 items that are the most important. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one. Okay, I want to start off with one where there has been a lot of confusion. It is fans. Yes, a lot of people like to bring fans for their cruise ship cabins. However, we've had two cruise lines over the last year that at some point have said that they are prohibiting cruisers from bringing fans on board. However, both cruise lines have clarified their position on cruise passengers bringing fans. So basically, if they are small fans, if they're handheld fans, you are able to bring them to use on board the cruise ship. So something that you don't wanna do is bring a big tower fan, but if you are bringing a small personal fan, that is okay. Number two, homemade or perishable food. Now in particular, some people were bringing food to crew members that were homemade and cruise lines have said, really, you can't give crew members homemade food, they could end up getting sick. So if you want to, you can bring food on board, meaning that you could bring snacks. So you can bring Pringles, you can bring chocolate, you could bring candies, other items, packaged food, granola bars, meal bars, you know what I mean. But what you can't bring is any homemade food, any meats, cheeses, anything that can go bad. Number three, drones. Now, when it comes to drones, there are some cruise lines that do allow you to bring drones on board, but all of the cruise lines do have very strict rules. So something that you'll wanna do if you do plan to bring a drone on board is you really want to check the rules and the regulations. In some cases, the cruise lines will allow you to bring it on board, but it does have to be kept with security. Other times they'll allow you to bring it on board, but only to use it at certain cruise ports. So you really do wanna watch that. And I do have a little bit of a word of warning. I have heard recently of somebody who was in a different country, and unfortunately he did use a drone where he was not supposed to, and he did actually end up getting arrested. So it can really be a problem, in particular in the cruise ports of call, you wanna make sure that you're following all regulations. So unless you're really bringing your drone for content creation purposes and you follow all of the rules, otherwise I probably would leave the drone at home. Number four, something that you probably wouldn't think about is you do wanna watch out when it comes to jewelry, rings, and other metal items. Now you can definitely bring these on board a cruise ship, it's not a problem. But what can be a problem is actually wearing these items when you do go to one of the water parks, either on the private island, or if you go to the water slides on board the cruise ship or even the dry slides. So the reason is because there is a rule on most water slides, I think it's been on every cruise ship that we've been on, but they can be really strict and they will have you remove any of your jewelry. My son, as a matter of fact, had a bathing suit with like a metal zipper um, on the pocket. They made him go and change his bathing suit. So just really be careful to follow those rules. That does have to do with safety. Number five, this year we have really seen cruise lines crack down on, well, cruise passengers bringing a certain substance on board. And the reason is because it is illegal under federal law, even if it is legal in the state where you are boarding. So you cannot bring any of this substance on board the cruise ship, just leave that at home. Not only is this on every cruise line's website, but we've actually had Carnival that really has publicized the fact that they've had sniffer dogs on board. They have had arrests on board, security guards going around. This is not something you want to happen on your cruise vacation. So 
just leave that stuff at home. Number six, pool noodles and floaties. Now, even if you have a child, you cannot use like pool noodles and that kind of thing in the cruise ship pools. But what you can do is you can use the swim vests that are on board. There are swim vests that are on board. I think every cruise ship that I've been on over the last couple of years, they are available, they are complimentary. That is the best thing that you can use for your children. Oh, but I should mention that if you are heading over to the beach and you do have a life vest or anything like that, you can bring that with you to take off the cruise ship. Number seven, boxed wine. Now, while you can bring wine on board most cruise ships, so if you don't have the beverage package and you decide to bring a bottle of wine on board, or even if you do have the beverage package, but maybe you have a bottle of wine or champagne that you'd like to bring on board, you are able to do that. Most cruise lines allow you to bring one bottle of wine per person. However, what you can't bring on board is boxed wine. And at the same time, you can't bring any hard liquor on board most cruise ships seltzers or beer. Number eight, we have a new one and that is that you can no longer bring walkie talkies on board, well, Norwegian Cruise Line. Now they really haven't explained exactly why, but truthfully, if you have been thinking about bringing walkie talkies on board, they don't really work well on today's big cruise ships and instead it really is better, perhaps you have a Wi-Fi package, you can actually text or iMessage other people or with the Cruise Line app. All of the cruise lines do have an app where you can actually message people within it. Some of them have the messaging that's complimentary and other cruise lines have a nominal charge. And number nine, certain sunscreens. Now, while on the cruise ship, you're actually allowed to use any type of sunscreen. I've never seen anything against this. However, when it does come to your cruise ports of call, there are many islands, many destinations that have actually banned the use of kind of regular sunscreen. So you really do need to bring a reef safe sunscreen. That's important if you're in the US Virgin Islands, if you're in certain areas, certain beaches that are in Mexico, if you're in Hawaii. So you do want to check that, but it's a good idea these days to bring a reef safe sunscreen. Number 10, single use plastics. Now in the past, we were able to bring cases of water bottles on board the cruise ships, but nowadays most cruise lines are actually really limiting or just not allowing this at all. Now most cruise lines, you can actually purchase a water bottle package so you can purchase large water bottles to be brought to your cabin or otherwise what I like to do these days is simply bring reusable water bottles. All of the water is safe to drink on the cruise ship and it's just easier and probably cheaper to just refill your bottle on board. Now I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know if you have questions about other items that are actually banned or prohibited on cruise ships. I will leave a video right after this one about the full extensive list that I did back a couple of years ago. That still stands along with the items in this video. Now, please let me know as well if there are other things that you know of, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.